We're in a profession of arms. You never know what tomorrow brings. We're not saying nothing's gonna happen, but we're also being prepared just in case something does happen. You're gonna get a call and a number of things are going to go into motion. I looked down at my chest and it was a tracer and it was burning. When I woke up, you know, I pretty much thought my life was over. That could be your wife who's standing by your bedside for months, years. This isn't just about the soldier. It's about the whole family unit. We all think we're invincible. You got a plan for the unexpected. The Army has provided um, each soldier with uh, the best equipment in the world, the best training in the world, and now the Army wants to help provide the best personal uh, affairs training for you and your family. Uh, and we can do that, uh, but it takes you to help us do it. You are Army strong. You're physically prepared and mentally prepared. You've had the best training in the world. You've done everything you need to do to make sure your family is taken care of. Just in case the unexpected happens. You did all that, right? Soldiers, Marines, Airmen, Navy, Coast Guardmen, the same thing. We put this uniform on and no one wants to think about death. It's not gonna happen to me. It's not gonna happen to me. It's gonna happen to somebody. It's just not gonna happen to me. And any soldier that tells you that he doesn't think that is crazy. Soldiers are all 10 foot tall and bulletproof. I mean, they have to think that way or they cannot go and kick in that door that they need to. They're all coming home safely. When I went to Iraq, um, I never thought I'd get hurt. We think that it's going to happen to the other guy, or it's going to happen to the other person, but it's not going to happen to you, to us until it, until it does. And then I'll tell you something, reality really kicks in. We have the best equipment in the world. We have the best body armor in the world. We have the best medical care in the world. Quite honestly, a lot of the people that are injured today, uh, 30, 40 years ago, they wouldn't be coming back from the battle. I was uh, severely wounded twice in my particular case, um, the second time being the most severe where I spent the last year and a half at Walter Reed. There are subjects that a husband and wife right before they deploy really don't want to talk about. God knows you don't want this to happen to your, your soldier. But let's face it, there are injuries. But you can't be too prepared, so why not prepare as best you can? We have some of the most intelligent soldiers you know, that are in the free fighting world that we have right now. I think we need to explain to them why, why you're doing this, why it's so important to have a power attorney, why it's, why it's so important to make arrangements, um, why it's so important to have, in this case, nowadays, in, in today's warfare, living wills or advanced medical directives. Most families feel if they discuss that type of subject matter, it jinxes them before deployment. It's a hard subject to talk about. No one likes to talk about it. But I think the attitude you have to take is that I'm talking about this with the person I love now because I want to make it easier for them if something does happen. If they've done all the right things at home before they left and they've got all their documents in order, they can focus on what our country needs them to do. Corner right, corner right, corner right. Specialist McKay. What? What are you doing here? Sorry, Sergeant. Specialist McKay didn't sign his DD-93. I thought you said you did all that. I'm sorry, Sergeant. I thought I did. But you forgot about these. Sign. Do it. Hurry. Date. Date. 